Turning now to your community focus, we're getting closer to that time of year, back to school. And today we're joined by Rhode Island Education Commissioner Angelica Infante Green. She joins us regularly here on 12 News Now at 4. Commissioner, thanks as always for your time. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I want to talk about masks in school. Last week, after the Council on Elementary and Secondary Education voted on masks in schools, you told my colleague Steph Machado, quote, we will take our chances with any lawsuits that may happen. And this week, the Gloucester School Committee took a vote to sue. So what's your response to that action? Well, um, they have filed. Um, I really can't say much because obviously it's in legal hands. Um, so our legal department will work with whatever needs to happen next. So aside from that specific complaint then, do you feel like you're on firm legal ground here or are you expecting more potential lawsuits like that one? No, I think we're on, we're on firm ground. I think we're, we're in a good place. Um, you know, I can't stop people from you know, putting forth lawsuits, but I think that we know what's right for kids, and right now having masks is the right step. The government has an executive order, so I mean, I'm not sure what they're pushing back on. Yeah, you mentioned the governor's executive order on, on masks in public schools. Um, that came after the education board's vote. Did, do you think the board sort of effectively went rogue with that vote last week? What was the governor's office's response to that? Well, I think it was in alignment with what he was thinking. Obviously, he came out and, and he put the executive order out. I think it was just what, what the timing was um, perfect, actually. So I don't think that anyone would rogue. I think that it is, we were all thinking the same things. So let's talk it's about, about safety. It's about safety. Yeah, let's talk about enforcement here. How are districts going to enforce these mask mandates? Uh, what penalties will there be for students, teachers, and administrators who refuse to wear them? Is that something that's being ironed out by the state, or is that going to be up to individual districts? Well, it's going to be up to individual districts. They have local policy, like there's a, there's a dress policy. There's all sorts of different policies that schools have, and they enforce the policy. So this will be one other that they will enforce, and they'll figure out how to do that locally. And is that going to be something that they have to iron out for the plans that they are going to submit to the state? Um, it's, it's part of the plan, but they don't have to be specific because they can do that at the local level. They have all the schools, all the districts are submitting their plans. They've already submitted the health and safety plan. Um, we are getting this Friday the final plans from all the districts, which will be posted on the website so everybody can see on our website, but each um, LEA district's website as well. What about breaks for masking for kids? Uh, would you suggest that kids get a chance to take them off, maybe during recess or gym class or time when they're outside? Well, it depends, right? So we have a mask mandate indoors. So what it looks like outdoors could be different if you keep, you, you have the pods where the kids are in the same social group. So it's going to be depending on each individual situations, but there are places where you can do that and you can do it safely. I want to talk a little bit about vaccines with the FDA's full approval of the Pfizer vaccine and now Moderna asking for the same. What's the status of conversations around mandating COVID vaccines for both students and or staff? Well, that's not something that we at RIDE can do, but I know that now that we have the FDA, we, we are pretty sure that that's one of our strongest mitigations is, you know, we don't have the authority, but 90% of our teachers are already vaccinated. So we don't really feel like we need to mandate that at this point, but that wouldn't be my office. In terms of students, we are going to be giving all the districts their data so that they know where the vaccination rates are, and that's going to be important. Commissioner, we know it's a super busy time as we're getting ready to go back to school. What else would you like to let our viewers know at this time? Well, that we're excited about kids coming back to school. I know that um, there's a lot of questions, but in your local district plans, you will get your questions answered. And please go to them. They, they want to be as transparent as possible. Everybody wants to so that there's a comfort level. And, you know, our kids really miss being in school. We saw from our survey works how excited they were to be back in the building as well as the teachers. So I think, you know, we're planning and we're ready and we're going to have an awesome school. Year. Rhode Island Education Commissioner Angelica Infante Green, thank you as always for your time. Thank you.